AHCC is an acronym that stands for Active Hexose Correlated Compound. It is a shiitake mushroom supplement that contains polysaccharides known to stimulate immune system function. So all mushrooms contain polysaccharides, both alpha-glucans and beta-glucans that confer their immune stimulating capacity. Now there's hundreds of studies on mushrooms in general. So not only shiitake, but maitake, reishi, turkey tail, split gill, caterpillar, mushroom. So all fungi have these, um, these polysaccharide compounds, which are complex carbohydrate chains like I said, uh, alpha-glucan and beta-glucan that confer these immune modulating or immune stimulating abilities. So when you look at HCC, the research on it is actually very limited. There was a research group out of the University of Texas Health Medical Center um, that did two studies, two pilot studies in women. They were really small studies. The first study looked at eight women. So they had eight women taking three grams of AHCC per day. They did that for up to six months. And of the eight women, four of them ended up clearing HPV. And then they decided to do a second small trial of uh, nine women. And they, instead of using three grams, they used one gram of AHCC per day. And they ended up having in that, um, that small trial, four of the nine women ended up clearing the, um, the HPV as well. Now it's noteworthy that they were using women that had had HPV for at least two years. You know, the longer that you have H, uh, HPV, it becomes a little bit more difficult to get rid of it. So we considered those cases, you know, more persistent HPV cases. So to have, you know, in those two very small um, pilot studies, you know, they had about 40% or so of the women that ended up clearing the HPV, which is probably a little bit better than you would expect to see without you know, doing anything at all. So it's certainly intriguing. I wouldn't exactly call it compelling data. Um, unfortunately, that's all the data that we have directly on either AHCC or any mushroom for that matter and its ability to help clear HPV. That being said, I like mushrooms. I've used mushrooms in my practice for almost 25 years, um, including for HPV. So I was using mushrooms back in the late 90s uh, to help modulate immunity as part of a treatment protocol. You know, what's difficult about HPV is that once it infects the cells uh, of the cervix, um, they don't destroy the cells. So the virus actually stays kind of hidden inside the cell where the immune system has a hard time getting rid of it. So that's, you know, that's one of the challenges with HPV specifically is it's a virus that doesn't cause cellular destruction and then it starts changing the cells and in some cases they could become malignant. So would I use HCC for cervical dysplasia and or HPV? No, I wouldn't. And there's two main reasons that I don't really care for AHCC um, as much as using just the general sort of mushroom. The first thing I don't like about it is that it's it's just not it's not a blend of mushrooms. It's a single mushroom. It's shiitake mushroom. Why would I use shiitake mushroom um, when I could use a blend of different mushrooms? So I just don't think it's the best product out there when it comes to a mushroom supplement. The second thing that I don't like about AHCC is that it's gotten ridiculously expensive. So what initially happened, you know. One of the researchers from the University of Texas at Houston that did some of this research, and this is almost 10 years ago, I think, um, because it was never published. They never published any of this data, any of this research up until 2019. But one of the researchers talked at some symposium back um, maybe around 2013 or so, something like that. And it went viral all over the internet and suddenly everybody was talking about AHCC and that it, you know, that it cured HPV and, um, you know, and what that ended up doing was it drove up the price like insanely. So now um, AHCC is really, really expensive and, you know, it's, it's taken on almost this sort of myth. The, the number of women that I see that are either taking HCC or have heard about it and they, 
you know, and usually what they, they don't actually look at the research, what they, you know, what they hear and what they read from other women um, is that it's supposed to get rid of your HPV. And, and then when it doesn't get rid of it by itself, then they're confused and, um, you know, they end up contacting me and they're kind of scratching their head wondering why AHCC didn't get rid of their HPV. So I don't like it because it's probably not the best product and also because it's gotten really, really expensive. And after all, it's just a mushroom supplement. It shouldn't have to be that expensive. So what product do I like? I like um, this one. This is Mycoimmune by Thorn. Thorn is a nutraceutical company. Um, they do a lot of different types of nutraceuticals. I use them for a handful of different things. I actually have a link in the video description below and if you register on their site and use my practitioner code, so when you go to register, if you actually say that you were referred by a health professional and put in my code that's there, it'll take you, you'll have access to my dispensary there also. And in my dispensary, I have some of the other supplements that I often use for cervical dysplasia and HPV. So what I like about, about this mushroom is it's a liquid, first of all. So it's a liquid extract. Some mushrooms, are just basically dried out and ground up and put in a capsule. So you're just getting the whole dried mushroom. So it's gonna take up a lot of volume and yet have lower amounts of the, um, of the alpha glucan and or beta glucan. It's gonna, in other words, it's gonna have lower amounts of what you want, the polysaccharide component, as opposed to doing an extract like this. So liquid is nice because some people don't like a bunch of supplements. You know, if, if you're, if you're like other people and you're trying to get rid of HPV or cervical dysplasia, you're probably already taking you know, 10 different supplements. Usually they're in pill form and not everybody likes pills. So it's nice to be able to take a liquid like this. Um, it also is a, is a good blend. So this mushroom has caterpillar mushroom. It has maitake, reishi, shiitake, split gill, and turkey tail. So it has um, six different mushrooms in. Getting a blend is probably better because some of the mushrooms are a little bit higher in alpha glucans and some are higher in beta glucans. And at the end of the day, you probably want both. So um, how do you take, you know, how do you take this product? You know, what I would do is do um, somewhere between one and three grams of uh, mushroom per day, whatever type of mushroom you're taking, you probably want to be shooting somewhere between one and three grams. Um, one dropper full of this has uh, 1.6 grams. So what I usually recommend for people to do with this liquid uh, mycoimmune supplement is to do, first thing in the morning when you get up is in a small glass of water, do two dropper fulls in the water on an empty stomach, maybe about 15 minutes before you eat. If you found this information useful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.